Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this is our discussed topic today and I really feel that this definitely is one of the things that seriously needs to talk, be discussed about more among fancy goldfish keepers and you will see um, in a couple of seconds actually of why this needs to be talked about more. So pretty much why I'll uh, make a little quick video on this. Unfortunately, when it comes to fancy goldfish, this is a problem. There is not a lot of fancy um, goldfish keepers out there who keep fish, you know, for a very, very long time age-wise. Because there's just so much that we need to consider if we want to have long-living fish. And unfortunately, either just where the fish come from that's just not considered or it's just we just making too much mistakes in our aquarium to not consider um long living age fish but you see this with your longer body fish or maybe with your normal common fish of the fish being over five six seven years old going up to 10 20 years old and the size also by the way does not determine the age of the fish the size mainly just determines from how big your aquarium is, but aging in the fish, um, you know, these fish are a lot more hardier than fancy goldfish, of course, because due to not being as hybridized and bred as much as your fancy goldfish, but with fancy goldfish, they can live long, they can live to your five, a lot more than just five to seven years, some can live to seven, ten, maybe thirteen years, and, but if we do consider just certain things, then we can have just long, living fish so the three things that definitely need to be considered um where did you where did the fish come from diet and water quality it's just still such a big thing among goldfish keepers that water quality is just not just um a big thing that should be considered when it comes to the longevity and the health of your fish um, I myself am learning every single day more and more about water quality and then I'm actually starting to realize the more you learn about your water quality, the easier it gets. It really does get a lot easier and the more um, importance you put on certain parameters, it, um, the less you actually focus on your so-called the important parameters with your um, water quality parameters. Yes, they're all important, but there are some that are more important than others that just determines what the basics that we learn from when it comes to um, setting up, or for anybody setting up an aquarium. Diet also is another big one, very diet, you know, boost the immune system, or make sure, you know, eating a mix, let's say whole healthy foods or just whole pellet, uh, whole pellets, live foods or maybe frozen foods. That is just also a big one. And I've definitely, um, definitely have previously stated diet as well. I've mentioned it in certain videos when it comes to other parts of the goldfish. And the biggest one so far when it comes to aging of the goldfish is where did the fish come from? Did you get the fish from the, from the pet store? Did you get your fish from a breeder? Did you get your fish from it being imported or it was it from a local breeder we have to consider genetics when it comes to our fish and especially when it comes to certain varieties of fancy goldfish because since Gramsci goldfish are so hybridized to produce certain scale colors certain looks or certain size of wings or fin shape or body shape it does affect their lifespan and with how much money not only these breeders, but hobbyists put into fancy goldfish, it would make sense that you want to have a long living fish if you have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on not only just buying the fish, but also, you know, people spend a good amount of money on taking care of their aquariums. So it would make sense to have a, lo a long living fish if you're putting so much time and work into taking care of the fish. So... Yes, fish having these short lifespans, it, it should not be a thing. We should not be seeing short-lived fancy goldfish in our tanks. We should be having long-lived um, long -lived fancy goldfish and not only that, easy maintenance in our tanks once we understand more of our water quality and also giving these guys a nice very diet. Goldfish keeping really should not be as complicated as it seems, but... It's because, unfortunately, a lack of understanding, and it's lack of understanding, and it's lack of re lack of understanding, lack of research, and just lack of knowing like what is going on with with 
how information is being spread among goldfish keepers and how and and how the breeding is honestly being happening among certain mainly predominantly from importers of anti fancy goldfish that why some of these things are very very difficult. So some of the things that you can tell from signs of aging or old goldfish, just and also and here's another thing, just because your goldfish is aging or old, old age, that does not mean it's dying. And it's annoying every time when you look up stuff about aging or old goldfish, every single post or every single um website that pops up it automatically is assumed or means that your fish is dying or is about to be dead just no it's it's your your fish is of course your fish is getting old and your fish is aging is not the same as dying but you can definitely tell from the two things uh when a fish is dead and when it is when it's compared to when it's aging there's of course there's obviously two different scenarios happening and you know fish you know goldfish do get old they do age and you know we can have long living fish <laughs> but here are some of the things that you might see in um your aging in your old aging or old age in fancy goldfish you might have seen one or maybe more of these things and also just to clarify especially with the white bumps appearing in the fins and tail that's just build up of the skin on the fins and tail and also when you see a color change that does not mean that the fish is stressed or not mean the disease is happening that's just you know you know even with us us humans or dogs we start to change in our skin because things start um you know slowing down with, with its preparing of the skin it just means that the animal is getting older it does not mean there's nothing bad with the um animal and also as well, blindness is a possibility as well. Um, blindness in fish is also a possibility when the fish are getting old or when they're getting aged. That does not mean the fish is sick, it's just a sign of old age. Same thing with your dogs and your cats and even people. Sometimes sometimes when things start to digress um, in the eyes, blindness can happen. And, um, even, and uh, another thing with the bottom sitting. Sometimes when you see old fish bottom sitting, that also as well does not mean that they are sick. They might be just, you know, slowing down in their movement or maybe something is wrong, but you can help alleviate them with just um, upping up on the water changes or water quality or maybe feeding different food. Or sometimes they are bored and sometimes um, older fish need uh, younger companions that get them to move around more, get them more active. So sometimes... Um, with older fish, you can bring in a young companion and you will definitely see a difference in the activity of older fish. Now, I would definitely like to use an example of my my fish and, um, you know, I'm on, I'm mainly on Instagram with my fish. I don't post everything about my fish and my tank and what I do, what I feed on my tank on Instagram. So you can definitely check my Instagram out for more info. But... And that's one of the biggest things I've noticed in this hobby. I've only been in this hobby now. This is going on three years. And yeah, there's not a lot of goldfish keepers out there who have fish that are over two years old. There's only a few. And I've only talked to only a few. And I'm actually one of those few where two of my fish are over um, two years old. So, well... Nugget right here, she's actually the youngest one. She is around a year old, and she is actually my first ever brought breeder fish. I got her from Zal's Fancies. If you want to, I actually have his channel as a feature channel on my uh, main page, and he does a phenomenal, he's one of the, honestly, the only breeders that I mainly trust when it comes to healthy fish. And if you want to check more out, you can definitely check out his videos, and his fish are beautiful and, and amazing. But, um, she's actually my youngest fish. She's around a year old. Lulu, she's my biggest fish. She is actually a pet store fish. And she is a black, as you can see, a black telescope goldfish. And you can see how she has, she definitely got all these white tips right here. And it started receding because when she got older, over two years old. And also as well, um, she also has these white bumps on her fins, on mainly these two bottom fins right here and her tail. I started to notice that she got those white bumps when she was um, a little over two years old as well. That's not disease related, but it's just, you know, bowed up with the skin and stuff like that. And 
Oh, and I forgot to also mention another thing. Sometimes some of the bumps can appear as ick on the back of the tail. Don't try to dump meds in your tank. You're, you're stressing out for no reason. That's just another way of the bumps showing, and that's just another sign of, as well, your fish aging. And it's not a bad thing. It's just your fish is aging. But this is just a little... And here's a little bump right here. Um... A little bit as well off the top of her top fin for Lulu. Hers is turning white as well, and some of her other fins is turning white as well. But Lulu, she's you know she's she's not an old fish, but she is showing signs of aging. And May 11th will actually be where it will be a total of now three years since I've had her. Her and my male Aranda Zulu. Now you will know a lot more about this guy if you follow my um and look at my Instagram, but he's also showing signs of aging too. You mainly see his though with his with his tail. He has a little bit of white streaks on his tail. I just and also I just wanted to show my fish as examples of of you know signs of aging that you see in fish. And um he lost a lot of his color too. All of his belly used to not be white too. It used to be what his scales right here looks like this shade of like gray with a little bit of blue he used to have it all over his belly but over time it just became white and the and his yellow on his chin used to be a lot darker but that became um lighter too sometimes you can retrieve the color if you do feed certain foods but once you have um aging fish uh most of the time I've noticed that that color is not going to come back. It just come, it just slowly going away because the fish is aging. But overall, I just wanted to show the uh, to what aging looks like in and use my fish as an example. And you can even see more on Instagram or probably look somewhere on YouTube of other people aging fish, uh, others aging an old fish. But yeah, um. You know, fish keeping is just an amazing thing, and you can just definitely see, you know, over time, like, how your fish change, and how they behave, and how, you know, long, and how they grow a relationship with you, and aging in fancy goldfish is possible, it's just we definitely need to consider more things if we want to have long-living fish.